<laughs> Yo, bro, you seen that video about the bird flying through a window? No. Yo, let me pull it up. So, there's so much hip hop that exists outside of the United States today. One of the biggest examples is Young Lean. He's from Sweden. And essentially, he's responsible for bringing the emo rap scene to what it is today. There's the UK grime scene, the French hip hop scene, which a lot of people have been talking about. And then there's the hip hop scene in Spain and China that politicians are actively trying to disassemble. They're even going as far as censoring it. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. I didn't even know rap existed out of the U.S. Well, now you know. From the Bronx streets to the world stage, hip hop has transcended physical borders and has become an international phenomenon. Today, we'll be discussing three international scenes, the UK grime scene, the South Korean scene, and Sweden's influence on modern clout rap. It's going to be lit! Rhyme was very much inspired by the electronic music that came out of the UK. In the early days, people went as far as climbing towers to install transmitters so that they can transmit it on specific radio frequencies. So like, is grime more popular than American hip hop in the UK? It wasn't until 2003 when a 19 year old grime artist won the Mercury Prize that grime started getting the attention that it actually deserved. So like, what's South Korean hip hop all about? Pop and Korean hip hop have always been intertwined, but because of the corporate influences, a lot of artists struggle to display their creativity. But the aesthetics are still there. The fashion, the catchy hooks, the over the top music videos. So like, how come I never heard about it? Big controversy right now is cultural appropriation. Without innovation, many argue that Koreans have been aping off of the hip-hop industry for years. Okay, so I get grime and I get Korean hip-hop, but like Swedish hip-hop? Isn't Sweden just like fish in Ikea? No, you ignorant poo head. Some of the most experimental artists are coming out of Sweden. Yeah, right, like who? Like Young Lee. Who's that? A meme rapper? Young Lean burst into the scene. Many people thought it was a joke. The vaporwave visuals, the trappy drug inducing sounds, the weird aesthetics, and a host of other things led us to call this music cloud rap. Why should I care? You should care because in 2013, this young kid from Stockholm, Sweden, pioneered emo trap. That can't be. We have XXX Tentacion, Lil Peep. Well, he certainly came before these guys, and his sound is iconic. Unless you were a super big music nerd and knew about people like, and blah 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 blah, blah, blah uh, you would have never found out about it. But he definitely inspired an entire generation of sad boys who talk openly about their drug use and their emotions. So, uh, you want to come over to my place and listen to some grime music? Sure. Let's go!